Hey up Changs, this is my fireplace at home and how I did it. I put a new lintel in, removed a, a, just one skin of brick on the inside so I had a decent opening for the fire I wanted to fit in there because you do have tolerances that you have to abide by to get your fire certificate. Uh, put aqua panel in the back and a common brick hearth just, to, just as a base. I ordered my brick slips from the Brick Tile Company online. I think they worked out just under £500 for them. Uh, pretty expensive. And I had some breakages, which I did send back to the company. They were arguing with me about getting some free ones sent out. But in the end, I said, you know, you've got to send them out. You can't. They're, they're expensive. So they did. In the end, took them another probably two weeks to get them out to me. Um, the, you need to buy the spaces separately. And you can buy like a, a pre-mix mortar from them, but I didn't, I used a three-in-one mix, uh, and uh, the finish that I got, I basically just used a wire brush, went over it with my finger after, smoothed it out, and uh, it finished up lovely. <clears throat> um, it was a bit of a pain in the arse using these spacers, because obviously the bricks aren't, they're not true, so when you're trying to space them properly, you have to space them on different points on the brick to bring everything round right. Right pain in the arse. When I got down to, uh, well, pumping the, the mortar in, I just used a, a normal pointing gun. Uh, this, you have to have a proper vent for it as well, um, for the airflow for into the building. And that's the finish of the pointing, and it looks lovely. And it's still like that now. Um... The brick off, I uh, mitered the corners in and uh, just spent a little bit of time getting that right. It's always worth it because it's in your house and you, you're going to be looking at it for the foreseeable as long as you're in that house anyway. The oak beam, I got that from Coward and Brick and Tile Company down in Rugeley. I think that was about 100 quid and my fire I got off from Direct Stoves. Um, that was uh, online as well. Um, it was... It was a, a, it was a pretty easy job to be fair if you knew what you were doing, and you know it, you have to get a, a a proper installer in for your fire. I use Stoke Stoves, down in uh, Kidsgrove. They're really good. They're on Facebook. If you want to log burner installing, they do do this full job themselves. Um, they'll do brick brick arse and tile splashbacks and all sorts, even plastering making good. So they're worth having a look at. Um, if you like the video, Changs, just give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a comment and slate it. I don't really bothered. But uh, keep watching the videos. I'll say the next time. Keep it nice and easy, Changi.